If you have used Creo or ProE and now have to learn SolidWorks for school or for a job, here are a few tips to help you get started. In this video, the topic of assemblies will be covered. This is the basic SolidWorks interface for an assembly. On the top is the command manager, but there are a couple different tabs that were not found in the part document. The assembly tab allows you to insert components into an assembly made the components, as well as a number of other features. The Insert Components icon is comparable to the Assemble tab found in Creo. Move Component, which is found in SolidWorks, is similar to that of the Drag Component found in Creo. However, in SolidWorks, you can move components after they are initially placed without having to use this feature. The Layout tab allows you to create sketches within the assembly, that can be used for the placement of parts or in context parts. The creation of datums in Creo, such as planes and coordinate systems, can be found under Reference Geometry in the Assembly tab in SolidWorks. The first step to creating an assembly is to open a new assembly document. This is done by going under File, New, and selecting New Assembly. There are no subtypes that need to be specified, which needs to be done when creating an assembly within Creo. When a new assembly document is created, the property manager will automatically open and ask for which part or subassembly will be inserted first. If a part is already open, you can select it from the open document box or else you can browse to another location to find that part. Before placing the first part, it is a good idea to view the origin of the assembly. To do this, go under View and select Origin. Now choose the part that you would like to add and bring your cursor over to the location of the origin. This will snap the origin of the part to the origin of the assembly. The first part that is brought into SolidWorks is always initially fixed when it is brought in. This fixed position can be changed, but it is necessary in the beginning to establish a point of reference. This is similar to the fixed placement constraint found in Creo, where they both remove 6 degrees of freedom. To change the location of this first part, click the part and select Float. Made a plane in the assembly with one of the planes in the part. The orientation can be flipped by using the aligned or anti-aligned buttons. The part can be right clicked and fix can be selected if you want the part to remain in that location or more mates can be added until the part is fully defined. In Creo it is necessary to create three mates with different planes in order to fully reorient the part. The units of the assembly document are set the same way that they were in the part document. This is done by going under Tools, Options, and then in the window that opens, go under Document Properties and select Units. In SolidWorks, mates are what remove degrees of freedom from a part. This is equivalent to the term of constraints that is seen in Creo and ProE. The next part that is brought into the assembly will be floating in free space. It is necessary to remove degrees of freedom from this part. For example, to add a concentric mate, which will align the axis of the hole and the axis of the cylinder, it is necessary to first click the mates icon in the command manager. Select the concentric mate from the list of standard mates and then choose the cylindrical face of the hole and the cylindrical face of the cylinder. Mates within SolidWorks can be edited or suppressed by finding the mate under the mates folder at the bottom of the feature manager or in the mates folder found under the part within the feature manager. The mate to be edited can be right clicked and then the edit feature icon can be selected. A quick way to show just the components that are mated to a specific part is by right clicking that part in the graphics window and select the icon of view mates. Most of the mates that are found within Creo's user defined constraints are similar to those found in SolidWorks standard mates. The other types of mates in SolidWorks can be found by expanding the advanced mates tab or the Mechanical Mates tab. Similar to Creo's Analysis tab, SolidWorks has a number of tools that allow you to gather more information about your assembly. The Measure tool allows you to measure anything from distances to areas of surface. Using the Interference tool is equivalent to the Global Interference tool found in Creo, as it will tell you if there are any parts within the assembly that have overlapping geometry. I hope this gave you a brief overview to help make the transition from Creo assemblies to SolidWorks assemblies easier.